Hi guys, how we doing? I hope you're all having a fantastic day as always. You're very welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time here guys, you're also very welcome. So today we're going to talk about how to get more traffic to your website or your blog or your offer or whatever you have. So you've put in a lot of effort, you've put together a blog or a website or an affiliate link or a lead capture page. And you're wondering, well, how do I get more traffic to it? Well, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can pay through the nose by pay-per-click traffic or Facebook ads or Google ads or one of those. Or you can try uh, the free approach. And when I say free, I mean financially free. So you can you can just try to get more followers on Instagram or Twitter and then, and then try to promote the nose, but that takes time. So it's not really free, it's costing you time. So today we're going to talk I have 50 plus different ways on how to get more traffic to your website. So if this is something that's of interest to you guys, stick around, check it out. There's some real golden nuggets here. If you like what you're seeing on the channel or you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, share, like. It helps us put out more videos like this. And uh, if you have any questions, just let, them, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to help you out. So let's get stuck into how to get more traffic for your website. So, as I say, your lovely shiny new blog or your lovely shiny new website is not worth a whole lot to you if you're not getting traffic to it. The reason I say that is because you need to get traffic as the lifeblood of any business. If you think of a traditional, uh, a traditional store, that needs footfall basically for people to go in there uh, and to be exposed to the offers and then to maybe create. As they say in Glengarry Glen Ross, nobody walks on the lot if you're not thinking about buying a car. And it's going to be the same for your website. So if you're promoting dog grooming products, you need to get people who are interested in dog grooming or dogs in general to your website. And when they get there, then you can sell whatever if you're selling dog training courses or if you're selling doggy products or whatever you're selling, then that traffic is warm traffic basically to your site. So how do you get this traffic? Well, here we go. I have a 50 plus way, 50 plus different traffic sources here now. So let's get through them. You can create a podcast. So that's pretty much number one. Create a podcast, put some different, uh, put out some content on it, whether it's your own thoughts or whether it's a review or product review or whatever it is. And then basically advertise on the podcast pin your content to pinterest so that's basically when you create a, uh, a podcast get pins going on pinterest and even if you haven't got a podcast you can still put pins up onto pinterest just helpful articles or useful things again we'll go use our doggy our doggy website if you if you're good with dogs and you have some grooming tips whatever for dogs put that up there on pinterest people want to see about that things answer questions on quora that's another good one. It's get, if you see people on Cora who are interested in or need to know things about dogs, you can get on your, you can go onto Cora and basically answer those doggy questions. Create awesome free content. So again, this is kind of linked back to your create a podcast. If you can create articles, or if you can create videos or some sort of, or even Pinterest pins, if you can create awesome free content that people will lap up and put your affiliate link or your website at the bottom, then that's free advertising for you. Post in forums. This is still popular, guys. Don't let all the shiny lights fool you. Forums are st still get a serious amount of traffic, and if you have a forum in your niche, let's keep, let's stick with the doggy niche. If you if there's a forum in your niche and you have views or articles, whatever you have, or if people are asking questions and you need know the answers, then get onto those forums. Always link back to your own website or your own blog, and you will get a serious amount of traffic from that. Publish a book on Kindle. This is very easy to do now. Amazon have made it super simple to do. So basically, go on to Kindle, create a book, create a cover. As long as you have your, if you've written a book, say 5,000 words or whatever, then upload that to Kindle. Kindle will format it now for you. Go on to Canva, create yourself an a ebook or a Kindle cover, upload that, and then start to put that into your blog, onto your Pinterest, onto your website. And you can sell those books. And once that's up there, that's up there, guys. So those books will sell month in, month out. And if you have a lot of books, there's people making serious money 
I've heard about people making fifty thousand, a hundred thousand dollars a month just with ebooks, and they're not even writing them themselves. If you want to learn more about that, just let me know in the comments below. You can upload a free course to Udemy. So up uploading a free course to Udemy is very simple. If you have a video course, let's stick with our dogs again. If you have four or five, if you make four or five videos on how to train dogs. Stick them onto Udemy as a training course and charge 25 quid for it. When you do that, not only is that getting you money, but also it's getting you traffic by word of mouth because embedded in those videos or in, those, in that training, you got it, is your website or your blog or whatever it is. The next one is request to submit guest blog posts. So again, guest blogging, it's like a shout out. So basically what you're doing is you're submitting guest blogs basically or you're, you're getting a, a bigger blogger to shout you out. Add social sharing bookmarks to your site. That's pretty straightforward, guys. Just make sure that your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, everything is linked in together. And basically, people can, can like and share your content then. Leave insightful blog comments. That kind of feeds back into what we were saying earlier. Go on to the relevant blogs. Leave comments, blogs and forums. If you can leave comments in there, link them back to you. To you and it, you don't want to just say any old rubbish you want to put something that's fairly insightful there interview influencers in your niche so this is kind of goes back to, to joint venturing with someone who's in your same niche if you can interview them and they can get you can get some good feedback off them then that's great yeah, it's a great way of getting some traffic so it's exposing you to their traffic basically which would get you more traffic make it profitable for people to promote you so if you have go back to your udemy course if you have your Udemy course and you're charging 25 quid for it, so whatever it is, if you can if you can have an affiliate, an affiliate can make 10 or 15 dollars for every sale he makes for you. You don't do any work; he does all the work, and you have the profits. Or if he's getting 15 quid, just a little over half. But you didn't do anything for that, and he'd be happy to do that. Create great YouTube videos. That's what we try to do here. Nothing fancy, just good information. There's other channels out there. If you take if you take our channel here. There's other channel out, channels out there that have better quality videos than ours, but ours are, are, ours, the content in ours basically is a lot better. There's a lot more information there in each video. Put slides on a SlideShare or an auto stream. So that's just putting slides together on SlideShare and again, generate more traffic. Put on myskillfeed.com. This is kind of a, not a newer website, but it's one that doesn't really get used a whole lot, but it's definitely get some decent traffic. That's myskillfeed.com. Submit press releases. So again, if you can sit to, skip, stick to a schedule when you're releasing any of your social media outputs or can you treat them as uh, press releases. Use paid advertising as another one. We kind of touched on this one before. If you use paid advertising, just be careful. But start small and scale up. Nothing will eat through your, through your wallet like paid advertising will. If you don't know what you're doing, you won't get any results and you'll spend all your money. The next one we want to talk about is posting on Twitter. Make sure you post on Twitter fairly regular. Again, set up a schedule or even use something like Hootsuite to get those posts out on time every time. Create a mobile app. This is something that's very doable. People making a lot of money with mobile apps. There's a lot of affiliates out there that would like to promote your app if the pay is right and the app is good. Let people guest blog on your site. So again, that goes back to influencing mar marketing. If you can get a big name on your site, basically you will get in front of their traffic. And all the name of the game of traffic, guys, is get in front of where people are. That's that's as simple as that. So start a meetup group. You can see all these Facebook groups now. There's loads of them. If you can start one of them and get people going to it, get generate some good content and get some conversation flowing and get some customers going because what will happen is people will start liking and sharing that page and they'll introduce their friends. They'll come in and introduce their friends. It'll snowball. And eventually you'll have a pretty good group and every now and again don't just constantly post offers to that group but now and again just slip in a little offer or a little help video and go from there create automated webinars so again this is something that's very easily done now and if you want to learn more about this you can have what seems like a live webinar you can have that in your link people will click on it and you get to pitch them for an hour or so uh, it's, it's a very very effective way of doing of getting customers Give away a simple software. This is this is this is as old as time itself. Giving away something free for a lead, basically. If you
if you can give away a simple software or even a simple ebook or something like that, then with your website or affiliate links, or whatever in there, then people generally take stuff for free all the time. So if you can give away a simple software that just does something really simple, whatever it is, and then make sure your website is embedded in it. Mention your site in newsletters. So again, this can be online or offline. Don't leave out the offline uh, marketing, guys. If you can get something like buy and sell ads or selling ads or whatever, you can get your website out there. Pay for banner space. So this is banner advertising. Uh, banner ads are there's, they're still pretty good in, in certain places. There's a lot of banner blindness out there at the moment, but there's no doubt if you have a catchy banner on a, on a website that gets that gets a lot of hits, then you're going to get some good hits as well. Post on Google+. Plus. There's a lot of groups in Google+, Plus basically, where you can post. There's some crummy ones, but there's some good ones as well. Post on LinkedIn. Again, this is part, should be part of your social marketing package that you're posting on Google+, Plus, LinkedIn, Twitter, all this good stuff. So make sure you post on LinkedIn. Create shareable tweets for click to tweet. So basically get some just decent content on there. You'll often see it in your feed where someone will have shared a tweet and you won't recognize that person at all or if the original person. That's what's happened there. They've shared a tweet. SEO, your posts. So we have a lot of videos on SEO here. Can be a little bit slower, but still very, very effective. If, so if you want to check out some of those other videos on SEO, check them out. Answer questions on Yahoo Answers. Again, this is kind of like Quora, but it's uh, it was it was the original Quora, to be honest with you. I did it years ago, answering questions on on Yahoo. I found that after a while, you, you kind of got shut down. Your your session got shut down, and you'd have to call back. But it's definitely worth trying. You definitely get people targeted people in there who are interested in in uh, hearing from you and hearing from experts in your in the field, whatever your field is. Include a link in your Instagram bio. So this is again a little bit harder to do now with Instagram cutting down on affiliate links and stuff like that, but it can still be done. Make sure you include a link in your Instagram bio. That's Instagram is where it's at at the moment. Between Instagram and Pinterest, if I was to start fresh in the morning, that's where I would be. Ask people what they want and give it to them. So just basically see a need, fill a need. Simple as that. Submit tweets to just retweet. So we kind of hit on that already. Add shareable images to all your posts, so make sure you're, you're, it's all shareable. Create a best of blog post, so top 10 funniest sayings or top 10 places to eat, or whatever it is. People love those kind of things. Reverse engineer your competition on opensiteexplorer.com. So this is this is old enough, but it's still it's still very doable. So if you see someone who's doing very well, what you want to do is just go into open open site explorer and reverse engineer what they are doing so if they if you can get your hands or get into one of their profitable campaigns you can reverse engineer that and, and, and do one up for yourself network with other bloggers so again that's jv and share on stumble upon poor stumble upon gets forgotten about doing paid per click advertising as well so it's definitely worth a look if you need to know more about stumble upon just give me a shout uh, re-promote old posts, so you should recycle your old posts and your old videos, your old your old content, just to rebadge it and get it out there again. Run a contest. Everybody loves a contest. Facebook is especially wild for this. They love they love uh, contests. The next one is create compelling headlines. So that kind of falls into SEO as well and rehashing of your headlines. Post on medium.com, so head over to medium.com, check those guys out to get a serious amount of traffic as well. Reach out to podcasters for interviewing, so if you have podcasters in your niche that you like listening to, then reach out to them and they'll be happy to interview you or to shout you out, depending how big they are. Post on reddit.com, just be careful with reddit, the, the audience on reddit can be pretty brutal. But it's definitely a good way of getting some traffic. Just, just don't just post on Reddit and, and and head off. Make sure you interact with the actual Reddit platform that you're looking at other videos, you're commenting, you're liking, uh, and just you can post there and get some traffic. Use CNN's I report section. So I haven't tried that myself, but I'll check it out. Hire someone on Fiverr. This is a favorite of mine, and I also have a couple of other videos on how to make money on Fiverr, but 
Fiverr is a great little platform to uh, get some whatever you're looking for basically if you're looking for design if you're looking for content if you're looking for shout outs it's all there on Fiverr and if you want to make money on Fiverr guys check out other videos I have on that upload to scribed so that's still relevant in today's world sponsor things so it's a great way of getting the idea of 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 mark of of traffic basically I say is you need to get yourself in front of where the traffic already is so sponsoring is a great way of doing that if you're sponsoring and seem to be out there and whatever you're doing so go back to our dogs if you're sponsoring a dogs trust or something like that then people who like dogs are going to see that and are going to you're going to get a, a lot of social credit for that go to industry and events so this is kind of it's uh, it's offline it's networking in its raw sense just go there as you often you've everyone's been to these events at this stage now with the um the guy with the business cards and just go there and just meet people and, and get out there and you'd be surprised what kind of results you get from that post honest reviews so always be yourself and then you'll never have to answer to anybody basically uh but regards your own content so everyone's entitled to their opinions reverse engineer from my top tweet dot com uh, again we've touched on reverse engineering but this is another site for that create an infographic for pinterest infographics get a huge amount of hits people are it's a new kind of banner ad basically the people love clicking on infographics participate in link parties so that's a kind of a where they flare where, where basically these link parties flare up and there's just your link goes out with it make your content phenomenal phenomenal <laughs> Great content will always get clicks, guys. So if you can make a good content, then so be it. And another great way to get more traffic is co-create with other people. If you can joint venture with other like-minded people in your niche, then that's a great way to get more traffic. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. How to get more traffic to your website. The fundamentals are if you can joint venture with someone, basically get yourself in front of where the traffic is. There's no real magic bullet. It's uh, it's not one fit one f suit fits all. You have to what will work for you might work for the next person and vice versa. But if you have any questions or any other uh, comments on traffic, just let me know. I'll be happy to help. Uh, sorry if I sound a bit groggy in this one. It's kind of late here where I am. But uh, listen, thanks very much for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe down in the right hand corner. I'll leave a couple of other videos there for you as well. If you want to uh, check them out, I think you'll be interested in them. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, as I say. And uh, until next time, take care, guys. Bye-bye.